By the middle of the 21st century, society's prosperity became unprecedented in history. A long era of peace helped boost the global economy, and the population grew to over 10 billion. This extreme population explosion resulted in shortages of every resource on a planetary scale. Society slowly turned toward isolationism. People rallied around their leaders and became increasingly hostile to foreigners. On January 1, 2050, the leaders of the most powerful nations on Earth gathered for a secret conference of critical importance. These global leaders came to an unavoidable conclusion. They needed to purify the Earth. The plan was immediately initiated. 200 nuclear warheads were detonated on a day that would be referred to as the Brave New World. 60 cities, along with over 7 billion people, vanished from the Earth. Centuries of mankind's progress and innovation, from the Dark Ages to the Industrial Revolution, all vanished in an instant. Forty years of a new desolate Dark Age followed. No telecommunication, no electrical power. The remnants of humankind struggled to survive in the radiated wastelands that was now their home. By 2090, the world slowly reconnected, but humanity was no longer the same. In the chaos of the new Dark Age, the world had been divided into many tribe-like societies. The new leaders of Earth gathered once more and declared war can never be waged in this new world order. The People's Renaissance Alliance was formed to end the chaos and reunite the planet. Under the rule of the Alliance, law and order were established once more and cities became functional again. However, under the pressure of this new governing power, a caste system was implemented. The lives of the average inhabitant became one of despair and little hope of improvement. January 1st, 2100, the first Survivor Royale was held on the South Pacific Islands. It was a gift from the Alliance to the desperate people of this new world. A small island which is periodically plagued by radiation storms became the biggest competitive battleground in the world. The champion of the violent battleground can increase their caste, gaining new status and hope. Before the storms arrive, 100 competitors are transported to the island to fight in battle for their very lives. There can be only one champion. Only one will survive and receive the highest honor of Survivor Royale. Death and destruction. In despair, people will do anything for hope. Hordes of people line up to join the competition for a small chance to improve their bleak existence. Time and time again, Champions are born here in battle. They dream to be the Survivor Royale and will die trying. Welcome to the Big Show.